Guys, welcome to today's lesson, Web Design Development. Um, we're looking at HTML and today we're going to continue with our Italy website. We're going to make some changes to that homepage that we created last week, as well as uh, looking to link other pages um, to that page to create a site. So, um, hopefully you should have downloaded the files for today's lesson. And contained within those files are, are um, the PowerPoint presentation that you should look through uh, and read over. And it gives you information about using um, lists, um, specifically unordered lists and ordered lists. And it gives you some explanation around the code, around about those that we're going to use within this video. Um, that presentation looks like this. Um, so we're looking at that ordered list and unordered list. Today we're going to use an unordered list in our um, web page. And we have the um, code uh, for an unordered list like so. The tag UL and contained within that for the list items um, would be the LI tag. And that would create this bullet pointed list that you would see um, opposite. So, um, read over the PowerPoint, make sure you go through it in some detail. Um, we're going to move over to um, Notepad++. I'm going to open um, the file, open folder's workspace, and I'm going to open a completed version um, of the website. Um, just to let you have a look at what we're trying to produce today, I'm going to run that in Chrome as we did last week. So you can see um, today we've got that unordered list. That last week we had um, these words, you know, in terms of the delicious food, fascinating history, vibrant culture. We had them in different styles, uh, italic, underlined and bold. But we're going to change that format slightly today. Um, and the rest should remain the same. Um, later on in the lesson, we're also going to hyperlink uh, these, which means when we click on them, it'll take us to another page, um, like so. And there'll be a wee hyperlink at the bottom of these pages to take us back to the home page. Um, the lesson itself um, will contain how to create that unordered list and how to insert a hyperlink. Um, I will also give you this food page completely built and you just need to put in the hyperlink um, to return it to the home page and then you should use the code in that page as scaffolding to assist you and help you build the other two pages from scratch. These pages will be blank um, so it will be a bit of a recap from last week and how to put headings in, images, paragraphs of text. Um, and obviously building on top of what we've done today in here, inserting our hyperlink um, at the bottom of the page. So I hope that makes sense about what we're going to do and we'll make a wee start um, on that. So I'll just remove that um, for now. Okay, so let's look at our task sheets which should also be included in your pack. So task one. Um, we have task two, and don't forget that HTML cheat sheet or vision sheet that we um, posted last week. You can use that, it still has the tags and the meanings and stuff like that, and use it as a reference sheet. Referencing is perfectly normal, nobody's expecting you to remember all of these tags and so on. Everybody references and goes back, even me. So, um, task one, uh, the Visit Italy homepage, that's to do with the changes that we're going to make here. And um, we're going to use some new tags to uh, make those changes, okay? And the changes will be made, and then we'll move on to task two, where we will start to link those pages and create hyperlinks um, using uh, this tag here. And I should have said the um, tags here will be used for the unordered list. So the unordered list, and then the list items inside, which we have three of. So that's what we have also in the pack. So task one, um, we'll start. So I'm just going to open our folder as workspace again. And this time I'm going to open lesson two, um, our website files. I'm going to open these again. We'll get a range of files. And we also have um, our images. Uh, remember, we put the images in the same um, file directory as the 
um, web pages um, so that they show up. If we put them in different folders, we can put them in different folders, but we have to change the path in which those images um, are declared in the code if we do that. So just to keep it simple at the moment, we'll keep all in one place. It looks a wee bit crowded, not normally how we would do it. It'd normally be a wee bit more organised, um, but just for um, to get started, we're going to leave it like this so we don't add too much complexity for you to begin with. So I'm going to open my index.html page, and that's my home page. It is sitting exactly as I found it, and I've also included a copy of that because that was your task last week to complete this. Um, and thanks to you, those of you who have returned that. Um, but today uh, we're going to build on this, so it was important if you missed last week that you had a copy of this, so I've included that as well. So we're going to make those um, changes um, to uh, this web page. Um, and what we're going to do is take these three items and put them in an unordered list to begin with. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a colon in, not a semicolon, but put a full colon in there. And just so that we're saying there are many reasons to visit Italy, such as, and then we're going to give that um, list. I'm going to open up a bit of space by hitting the return key and I'm going to place my unordered list in. Now, the tag for an unordered list is UL. So my unordered list. And I'm just going to close that also as well. So there's my unordered list there. And inside this, I need to put list items. Okay. And the code for a list item, I'm just going to indent that using the tab key. Um, it makes it readable. It's good practice to indent your code um, for readability. Okay, so I'm going to do an li tag, and again, I'm just going to close that tag also. Now, whatever I want to be in the list should go in between those tags. So the first piece of text would be that delicious, delicious food. So I'm just going to cut and paste that in. Um, so I'll just undo that actually and do it a different way that you can see because I'm using keystrokes for that. So if I highlight it and I just go edit and cut and click in and then edit and paste and that will click inside. I'll just tidy up my tags there. Okay, so again, I'm going to carry out the same process and just for quickness, I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste this twice, just to make it easy. There we have it. But I'm just going to change the text um, by, again, by cutting and pasting. Into those list. Elements. Okay, final part is I'm just going to take out um, the remainder of these tags and be careful not to remove the closing tag for the paragraph element, otherwise, you'll um, start to see some code um, when you view this web page. So, again, just tidying up the tags in terms of the spacing and so on. Um, and there we go. And what I mean by indentation is just this wee tab that we've put here. Okay, so we can see the container of the unordered list, and then inside that, our list elements are indented. And that just makes the code that bit much more readable um, for when we're using it. Now, again, I'm going to save that web page, and I'm going to run this in the browser, and I'm going to launch that in Chrome. We normally do. So, as you can see, we now have our heading, our image of Italy, uh, we have our paragraph of text, there are many reasons to visit Italy, such as, and then we've got an unordered list here of items. So that should be us um, completed task sheet one, um, which is great. Um, so if we've done that, good work. Um, remember, you can pause this video as you go, um, and I sh should be able to help you, and I should be able to help you as you go through the task if necessary. I'm going to move on to task um, two now. Um, task two is to create these hyperlinks. 
Um, and these hyperlinks should take us to pages for food, history, and culture. Now, if we go back to Notepad++, you can see that we have a food.html, we've got a history.html, and a culture.html. Okay, um, so what we want to do is I'm going to open the food.html um, tag, and you can see that we have our code here. So this page will link to the food page and back the way. Okay, now how do we go about doing that? Now, in order to hyperlink one of these list items, I'm going to add some code around about the list item uh, tags. Okay, and that code goes like such a h ref. So it's a reference equals. Okay, we're going to put inverted commas, and, I, and then I'm going to put the name of the page that I want to link it to, uh, which is food.html. And close those inverted commas, and close that tag. And the other side, I'm going to close that A tag. Okay, so if I save that, and I go back to the browser and preview it, Okay, and when I click on, you can see now that it returns, but I don't have a way of returning back to that home page unless I use the back arrow, okay, which technically is not great practice. All right, so I'm going to go back to um, my uh, code in HTML, and I am going to just insert that hyperlink. Now, I'm just going to take a wee copy. Um, of this code just to speed up the process for you. I'm going to go to food and it's this word here we want to highlight. We want to have this text click and then here and we want to highlight the word here. So when we click on that word, it takes us back to our home page. So again, we need to break into that uh, paragraph of text by inserting um, our um, code. Okay, so again, we're going to close that A tag. Okay, so the paragraph tags this time surround the A tags. Okay, um, actually, I put that closing tag in the wrong place, so I'm just going to cut that out of there, and it should go in straight after here. So there we have it, it should be in there. Um, again, I need to change the file from food this time to index. So it's taking me back to the home page or the index page from here. So in this case, from index to food, and for this case, food to index. So again, I'll save that page, and I'll go back to my browser and refresh. So if I click on delicious food, I now should have the word here hyperlinked. And you can tell it's hyperlinked because your pointer changes. We see that to a uh, small finger, and it's also underlined. So if I click on that, it takes me back to my home page. Okay, now it's all left to do is I need to hyperlink these other tags. So hyperlinking the other tags, again, should be pretty easy. I'm just copying and pasting that code, and I'm just going to change the file name um, it's linking to, history, and the final one is culture. Okay, once again, don't forget to close that A tag. And there we have it. Guys, I should say I am doing the, the copy and paste and the cut and paste thing just to speed up the process of the video um, for you. I would suggest that you, you can type it out, okay? And, and that will help you with the structure in the process. So if you don't feel that you have to do the cut and the copy and the paste and you're not confident with that, just type it out, okay, and take your time and check it, okay? You don't have to rush it. Take your time and check it. Okay, so once again, I'll go back to the browser. Now we've saved that page and refresh it, and you can see we now have three hyperlinks because the pointer changes and they're underlined. Okay, we have the fascinating um, 
history and vibrant culture and you will notice that both of these pages are blank at the moment we don't have anything okay because as i said earlier the next part of your task is going to um, be building those pages so using the knowledge that you, you you had last week of inserting head tags and images and paragraphs of text you're going to build that and on top of that you are going to use this week's knowledge about inserting hyperlinks okay um to insert that small link at the bottom of each page um like so again guys the, the structure of the page should be very very similar um to this code um, and that's what i meant by scaffolding so you know as you go through um, you know you need to put a title okay but you're going to change the title so it's not food this time um it's going to be about history okay your headings going to change and they will correspond um, to the pages that we have here so food of italy for your title food of italy the heading and then we have an image of the pizza and so on so you know how to build up your page the olives and so on okay but the structure of the code is the same so rather than have um you know the pizza that you have we have here on the next page that we have to develop is the history of Italy. Okay, so we have to do this one from scratch. Okay, so we've got the title, we've got the H1, we've got the image, the first image, we've got a couple of paragraphs of text, H2, heading, an image, and then paragraphs of text. And the last thing we need to do is this hyperlink here of this word, which we have just completed. So don't be frightened to use this code and just adapt and change, for example, this part here okay so if i was going to go about this what i would be doing is i would be opening uh, my next page which would be the culture page and i would be starting to um, build this page up um from from scratch um so actually it wouldn't be the culture page apologies it should be the history page um, so the history page, building that up um, using the images that I have um, here. So we have our home, we have our food, and now we're going to the history page. So it's history of Italy, okay? Um, but what I can do is put my title in, history of Italy, and then I can start to use the code that I see in the food page because it's the exact same structure. So we have a head, a H1 heading, we have an image. So I could take these, I can edit, copy, and into the body, and edit and paste. So I can put these in, um, and I can change the 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 words. History of Italy. I can change the. the image Colosseum um, and then I would probably save that at that point um, and I would maybe run that in the browser just to have a wee look at how it looks so that's how I would start to build up my page you see history of Italy history of Italy heading and so on Okay, so I would start to build my page from um, from there. Okay, and I can move on as we go. So you've got two pages to do uh, like that. Please don't forget the the, the wee piece of code, the wee hyperlink here at the bottom. And at the end, you should have uh, what we had at the start was that index page with three hyperlinks taking you to three different pages. Uh, with a hyperlink at the bottom of each, like so, returning you to the home page. Okay, um, thanks for listening. Um, good luck with the tasks. Um, I'm sure you'll be more than capable of carrying the tasks out and getting them done. Um, and make sure you um, send your pages that were requested and show my homework and teams back on show my homework to get some feedback. Okay, guys, bye for now.